Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, um, how have you been? Well, I hope everything is good. Uh, you know, today is part 2 of our steel uh, truss uh, structures. Uh, so check this out. <laughs> you know, we are in our Bangalore project and uh, look at all the different things that we have done. Oh my god, I've made videos for all of them. All right, so make sure to check this out. This is the parametric canopy, the U-shaped concrete walls, the, the screen battens, the very beautiful wooden battens. We have uh, this beautiful modern house right here, which still needs a lot of work. And uh, we have those uh, pavilions and we have stairs by profiles and we have this beautiful steel structure look at this look at how nice it looks so you know today's kind of part two it is the same concept right but uh, the the profile of the steel family is different right so we're gonna be using the curtain panel base let's quickly get started no more talking and uh, let's set the size of this to be <laughs> excuse me let's first of all press UN and this is gonna be meters uh, what no no let's go for millimeters two decimal places and now speed up because this one's uh, kind of a bit uh, so uh, 1000 is you know it's a it's a it's work all right there, there's things to do so 1000 by 1000 perfect so which is a uh, one meters by one meters after that uh, you know let's place a point uh, exactly in the middle which is the 500 mm mark right 500 mm 500 mm after that let's go to place by phase let's go to set right here let's set this plane and uh, let's go to points again let's set this plane and uh, let's place uh, four more points uh, right here and uh, right here and uh, let's go to modify let's click on this point and uh, let's change the offset into a controllable parameter this is going to be the four um points uh o double f s e t and uh, let's make it type okay and uh, okay and uh, let's set this to to what to to half a meter to 500 mm that's fine all right after that let's press okay and it went up after that let's click on this and uh, 4 points mm and uh, let's click on this and uh, 4 points mm and uh, let's click on this and uh, 4 points mm and uh, let's go to reference let's go to lines let's activate 3d and uh, let's go to 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 3 and uh, 4 and uh, 5 and uh, after that let's go to line again and uh, 1 and uh, 2 and uh, let's go to points and the point is going to be exactly in the middle when that appears after that let's go to point reference and lines and activate 3d so it's going to be 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 3 right here and a 3d i mean line again and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 right here and if you click to modify check this out <laughs> so you know it's kind of already made right after that let's go to dot uh, or not dot point that is the wrong way of saying it uh so dot point oh my god and uh, circle and uh, let's go to set and uh, set this and uh let's go for for what for let's go for 40 mm um 40 mm okay you know what let's go for 35 fine after that uh let's try to click on the dot in between the point and uh, circle and uh, control c and uh, activate multiple so control v control v control v and uh, control v and control v after that let's click on this point and uh, pick new host and the host is going to be this one and uh, let's click on this point and uh, pick new host and the host is going to be this one and uh, let's click on this point and pick new host and the host is going to be this one and uh, pick uh, point and uh, host and uh, what else is left and the host is going to be uh, uh, this one right here and uh, pick new point and uh, pick host and the host is going to be this one right here and then let's click modify let's start making our profile um, and you know we, we can even make a this parametric all right but uh, i think I, i've just I'm, I'm just gonna leave it for this for this time we can although make it parametric uh i mean the diameter of, of the circle right so click on both of them and uh, go to modify uh, modify and check this out it's done already after that let's click on this point and uh, let's click on that and uh, make our profile let's click on that let's click on that and make our profile and uh, let's click on that and uh, let's click on that and make our profile and uh, let's click on that let's click on that make our profile and uh, click on this click on this and make our profile and let's zoom in and check this out so our steel family is already made so you know this is kind of part two i mean it's just the concept and everything is the same right uh, only the only thing difference is this family and uh, for example if you go to the meters let's make this parametric so m-a-t-e-r-i-a-l-s material frame okay is that the right word okay okay let's go to settings and i think we should have even made the the circle parametric but it's fine uh we're we'll gonna leave it for this video but in your case you can make it right so something uh, shiny steel this one looks nice this is the metal sheeting rails um 
uh, use rendered parents okay okay and uh, let's go to file I know it's gonna give me that problem because there are so many different families let's go to to desktop and family anything right the only thing matters is a different name and uh, let's go to load into your project and uh, that was family 31 something right and then let's click on that so the size of this is one meter by one meter remember exactly according to our uh, this is it right exactly according to our you could say the fam the curtain pattern family that you made and I let this load it's gonna take time this usually takes time and check this out guys so it got uh, successfully pasted on our pattern that we have made let's go to finish mass all right this is it uh, so this is our our steel truss design all right a bit complicated and oh my god this thing is lagging because there's so many different uh, massing insights within the same file and I also have my my explorer open which is like 30 tabs and that so you know this is it right for example if we try to improve the the performance a little bit I mean the the presentation a little bit we can go to cast shadows and we can go to activate sketchy lines and uh, we can go to photo for example realistic and uh, okay and if we press okay so check this out this is our beautiful steel structure design right steel truss design i'm going to include the final renders in the end i'm also going to include uh, other you could say you know other elements like the chairs and everything and uh, so you know i'm going to include the final render in the end right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from this right take care of yourself and uh, bye bye